Sai Ram and welcome to this special conversation from Prashanti Nilayam. Bhagwan today has sent to our studios Shri K. Dev Sen, someone who had the opportunity to join Bhagwan school as a 15 year old and for 45 years he has been there as a student, as a faculty member, as someone who has experienced Bhagwan's love in a way very few have felt because when he came to Swami in 1977 for his 11th and 12th, the kind of connect that he developed, the kind of relationship that Swami allowed him to build was something that gave him very, very exquisite experiences with Bhagwan. After his schooling, he went on to do his bachelor's in sciences in the Brindavan Sri Satya Sai Art, Science and Commerce College. Later on, Bhagwan asked him to do his master's in mathematics in the Prashant Nilayam campus. In fact, he has the unique distinction of being the very first batch of postgraduate students after Bhagwan unfurled the university, our university, Sri Sati Sai Institute of Higher Learning in 1981. And after he completed his master's, by the way, he received his gold medal from Bhagwan's hands for his master's in mathematics. That happened in 1984. And after that, Bhagwan gave him the opportunity to continue to study in Swami's university and asked him to do his PhD and his research area, the scope of his research, his research work, his research outcome, everything was directly guided by Bhagwan. And even as the research in mathematics happened, there was a lot of inner search <laughs> that Swami put him through, beautiful lessons that uh, Swami asked him to inquire so that there was that evolution in his consciousness that Bhagwan was constantly guiding, goading him to. And after he completed his research, Bhagwan gave him the opportunity again to be a part of his institution by serving as a lecturer in the Brindavan campus. So he was there for six years in Brindavan campus of Sri Sathya Sai Institute of Higher Learning and it was during that period that the computer center in the Brindavan campus was set up, Bhagwan personally inaugurated this institution. In 1993, Swami brought him back to Prashantinilayam and now as a senior lecturer, he served in the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science till 2001, guiding and mentoring generations of students, teaching them not, not just mathematics, but teaching them the art, science and practice of developing that proximity with Bhagwan, Because he is someone who experienced that in ample measure. And anyone who has been with Dev Sain sir will vouch for the fact that if he is around, there is never a boring moment. Someone very lively, very enthusiastic, someone with a lot of cheer. And the most beautiful thing is, even in his interactions with Bhagwan, he was that free-spirited, carefree self. He had that really very, very open connect with Bhagwan, And that is the reason why perhaps Swami grazed him with very, very powerful and insightful moments. Moments which even today when he reflects, amazing revelations emerge. And today he is here with us to share some of those deep reflections and learnings that Bhagwan continues to bless him even today and today he serves as the director of Re-Envision Labs. Before we begin, I also want to share with you that he is actually the nephew of Sri Kutumbrao sir, who was the secretary of the Prashant Nilaya Mashram way back in the 70s. So someone who experienced great moments of proximity as well as discovered how to internalize Swami over the years. So, sir, 
a warm welcome to you and we are really grateful to Bhagwan that you are there with us today. So take us back to your journey, take us back to those moments which made you. Sai Ram, thank you Brishti for the kind words. I don't know how much I deserve all this. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to start with a prayer. Sure. Om Sai Shwaraya Vidmahe Satya Devaya Dhimahe Tanna Sarva Prachodayat Palikadi Di Sai Kathayata Palikinchu Vibhundu Sai Ramudata The this sentence is actually the first line of Sai Katha, which mm. was uh, written by um, Adinarayan Rao and Swami himself uh, took personal interest, went to Chennai with uh, with a lot of music boys. And this first sentence, Palikedidi Sai Kathayata, Palikinchu Vibhundu Sai Ramudata. Whatever we speak, it's all his glory, his story. And the one who makes us do, makes us be part of this is also Sai himself. Mm -hmm. So it's a, he is the doer, he is the karta, he is the bhokta, he is the karta, he is the karma. He is everything with that prayer to the Lord that he takes over and guides us. I wanted to start, uh, start on some of the questions that you have sure, sure, sure. asked me. So tell us how Swami took over your life. <laughs> Yeah, I joined in 1977 uh, in Swami's uh, college in Brindavan after my 10th. Those days there was uh, Puttaparthi didn't have a college. Yes. So we had to join in Brindavan college and uh, that was for the PUC, Correct. pre-university uh, uh, examination, the, the plus two. Correct. And, uh, 11th and 12th. 11th and 12th. Yes. So 1977 it was. I was a small boy. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most, m the initial days when I joined, the first uh, most memorable event was when uh, Swami selected me for uh, Adi Shankaracharya drama in our 11th standard. Mm -hmm. That was being enacted uh, by a lot of boys and Swami selected me as one of the uh, disciples. Uh, one of the prime reasons, not only that His grace is there, but one of the prime reasons was I was very short. Okay. Uh, that time also I was much more shorter than what I am presently. <laughs> so, uh, and when the when Adi Shankaracharya was sitting on the stool, when I was made to stand next to him, I was still st shorter than uh, <laughs> Adi Shankaracharya. So Swami was uh, <laughs> liking that kind of a yeah. uh, scene, and therefore yeah, I became perfect fit for the role. Perfect fit for the role. <laughs> so I became a disciple of mm. uh, Adi Shankaracharya in the drama. Mm. I had one only one dialogue. I can still vividly remember because that dialogue set me, started my journey uh, thinking. Mm -hmm. The dialogue was, "Who is your friend or a foe?" Mm -hmm. Lord, Master, please t tell me who is my friend and foe. So you as a disciple is asking, asking Adi, Shankara, Adi Shankara. Who is my friend, friend and who is my enemy? Foe, enemy. Mm -hmm. And uh, the answer is that your mind oh. is your friend or a foe. Wow. That's a very profound answer. <laughs> For a 15 year old boy, <laughs> you normally think your friends are somewhere outside, your yeah. foes are also outside. Mm -hmm. This started thinking that there is something inside me which can act as a friend or a foe. Mm -hmm. There is some instrument within me, the mind. Till then, believe me, I never knew what my mind was. Mm -hmm. I never knew that concept of mind because as a till my 10th standard, I was a normal student mm -hmm. and uh, playing around and joining the school and uh, the college and did not understand uh, deeply that you had uh, some faculty inside you. Mm -hmm. And this started making me think. And also the role of Shankaracharya, uh, the, the drama of Shankaracharya made me read a lot about Shankaracharya. Oh. Because if you have to enact a role, you should know what the, the characters are. And therefore, I used to go to the library, read up those books mm -hmm. and read a lot about Shankaracharya, read about the, his disciples, read about what is the relationship between a guru and a shishya. Mm -hmm. How does it happen? Mm -hmm. That start made me think that, you know, might be Swami wants me to be also you know, follow that kind of a route towards Him. Mm. So, the attitude of being of service to the Lord, to your Master, mm. to be following His command all the time, to be, be ready to serve Him at any moment, mm. was what was guiding me. 
Wow. And for the next few years, I should say, that was what was, you know, motivating me all through. So, when Swami used to, let's say, Swami, those days in Vrindavan, there used to be animals, uh, the cage was to be mm. there. Suppose Swami is going uh, towards that place, we should run and try mm. to give slippers to Swami, mm. those padukas to Swami. Then, sometimes some kerchief. They used to help in uh, watering those plants all around. Mm. So, a, a lot of these kind of activities is what motivated us. And all the time being available around in the mm. mandir, mm. be it in the early mornings in at the be bedroom window to the the uh, the veranda window. We used to run around mm. all the time, be there only, and try to get 1.1 in our uh, line mm. when we go for evening bhajan. So, mm. this is what was guiding me and this relationship Kind this kind of a life went on for a very quite some time. So all through the student days, you think, how do I get close to Swami? How do I get more opportunities? More opportunities to Swami. How do I serve Swami in different yes, ways? Explore. Different ways. Yes. Like how a disciple would want to serve the master. So we learned Vedam, so mm. that you know we can chant in front of Swami. We learned. Uh, uh, we we were part of uh, the kitchen group. Mm. We were part of you know uh, when Swami comes to the hostel, help in the arrangements. Uh, work in the garden, you know, mm. many things like this, you know, mm. work in the Gokulam sometimes. All the things work in uh, Sanan Sardi Press. So, you know, I think in Swami's university, you are not just students, you are actually part of Gurukula. Correct, and, correct. And that is how it was, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, see, the uh, education became secondary. <laughs> this was a real education. This was real, <laughs> what was the focus all the time. Yeah. All the time wondering how can we be more, uh, you know, in proximity to Swami. How can we be be, be more useful to Swami. In mm. How can we become, you know, the proper instruments of Swami. Mm. See, this was what was all the time, you know, mm. uh, going behind our minds. And um, this had its own uh, plus and minuses. So, you got beautiful moments also with Swami. Yes, we had good moments. Swami always encourages you to go on that path. So, yes. to become closer to Him. So, yes. small, small things He will, uh, when mm. you do a very small thing, He will try to reward you in that ah. small way, you know, yes. a smile here, a smile there, mm. you know, and uh, a, a chance to give a kerchief suddenly to Him. Mm. Lord does not require anything from us, but yeah. you know, He will sometimes ask for a kerchief. So, mm. so we will run and give mm. a kerchief. He will when he is somewhere around you, he'll he'll make a uh, beeline to the cage, mm. so that you know you get you know you are the first person to understand that the Swami is you know mm. uh, is going there. So you can run and then give those uh, uh, padukas to him. So mm. small, uh, when Swami is go, uh, going in a car, you know, trying to say, uh, stay as close as possible so that you can close the door. Mm. You know, small small <laughs> moments. You know, mm. these moments are the moments which uh, gave a lot of joy those days. Mm. You know. And uh, those were very formative days. Yes. And uh, all the time around Swami, we uh, hardly went home for holidays too. Right. If uh, holidays came, we normally used to spend around Swami, either in Parthi or Brindavan. Wait for was. holidays so that you can spend more time. More time. <laughs> so, this was what was the life all through at Brindavan time. Mm -hmm. So, a phase came when the Brindavan uh, life ended and then we had to join the MSc Mathematics here. Mm -hmm. And um, I was not very good at mathematics. Mm -hmm. I am not a very strong uh, in studies as because uh, and mathematics was not a great subject for me. But Swami told me take uh, MSc mathematics. Mm -hmm. So I thought mm, that was a really scary moment. You know, <laughs> do, do, uh, can I really take it? Mm -hmm. But after uh, having uh, verified with Swami once more, uh -huh. I felt uh, Swami wanted me to take mathematics and uh, I left it to his uh, will, you know, to guide me through. Mm -hmm. And we were the first batch of MSc uh, PG students in uh, for such science of higher learning. 82 to 88. 82 to 84. 84. And those days were, uh, you know, uh, very beautiful days because Swami, the, because the first batch of PG, Swami took a lot of interest. Mm -hmm. We were around 45 of us in all the branches and mm -hmm. Swami used to spend quite some time to understand, uh, you know, how we were progressing, how the departments were progressing and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, those days are very good days. And uh, after that, Swami asked me to join the PhD program mm -hmm. after my MSc Mathematics. Mm -hmm. Uh, by Swami's grace, uh, you know, we got a gold medal there. Hmm. Um, of course, uh, if it, it, very strange. I mean, you are saying you are not very comfortable with mathematics, but you got the gold yeah, medal. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that's that is something that which is Swami's. Swami's grace, you know. And Swami wanted to uh, confer that gold medal on me, I suppose, <laughs> because I really, richly, seriously, I don't deserve it at all. So it is uh, Swami's grace, hmm. and uh, you know, that was uh, we got a gold medal there, and then you know, joined the PhD program. 
and uh, as as uh, so you wanted to do phd no 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 certainly not <laughs> certainly not okay. I, i was the last person to think on those lines <laughs> okay. i was more interested to serve swami me if swami gives me some job somewhere just stay and my serve. colleague got a job and i was also very ha- happy okay. that you know i was also hoping that i will also get a job anywhere in the anywhere trust, any uh, any any job anything is okay <laughs> because those days the, the whole mentality was you know uh, serve swami somehow or the other that's mm. it you know mm. just uh, be around swami yeah and uh, the uh, we swami asked me to join phd and uh, swami guided those uh, during those days uh, you know the phd boys of what research we should do we should do research which is useful to the society around swami used to yeah, talk about it talk about it to the phd students to the uh, guides and others so be careful when you pick up the pick up a topic topics. don't do something which is very gadanken which is you know very academic oriented mm. but try to do something which is useful to the society mm. so and uh, in mathematics to understand a topic which would be useful to society was something which was bothering me a, a lot at that time mm. and uh, swami uh, very gracefully uh, in a in a conversation uh, informal conversation he was saying you know you could take up research on you know uh, how uh, crops are grown here how uh, these uh, the light helps in the growth of the plants how uh, water helps in the plants how you know, he was talking on those lines mm-hmm. that's how, and then he was looking at me and, and this suddenly struck me might be i should take up that kind of a topic and went mm-hmm. back started doing research on you know whether such a f- area exists at all you know mm-hmm. and uh, believe it or not that's a huge area mm-hmm. uh, so map and modeling of uh, Um, crop research and you know the light absorption by trees and water There's so many factors in agriculture the mathematical modeling is very huge mm. and so i took up the, that area went deep into it and it was um, we also had the pre phd exam um, and we got through all that and it, and almost every other day swami will uh, you know pick up pick some of us up you know because me being very short in stature and you know the my frame is not very <laughs> big so swami used to pick me up and say to some guests who come uh, this uh, you know who this boy is mm-hmm. and then they will say and then what is he is studying they will say some degree or something like no 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 he has completed his phd already <laughs> so that is to give surprise me a scare <laughs> surprise them but that is to give me a scare all the time i am still struggling with my phd i have not done anything and swami is already saying that i am claiming that you know, i have finished my phd <laughs> so this is to give me constant scare you know when i go back i after that when meeting his expectations yeah meeting his expectations are we you know can we really do it you know yeah. are we there at all because i was not seeing any light frankly I, that was not an easy uh, topic in by any uh, means and uh, it was not easy for me to because i am not an extraordinary uh, academic uh, academic guy so uh, so that was giving me a lot of trouble mm. and uh, area being new i didn't have uh, a great uh, amount of guidance to okay. from that sense mm. because the professors that we were uh, or were, were in another area in, okay. and this area was a totally new area which i had selected mm. and therefore it was a constant struggle for bo- everybody both of us also mm. and we were all trying to understand the topic and go more deeper into it and around two and a half years were got over and um, this was uh, bothering me a lot you know and swami's expectations are growing up mm. and uh, we are nowhere near the mark you know so one day i was really uh, feeling that way and then uh, constantly used to feel this mm. one day i think swami took mercy and then he appeared in my dream this i told this experience i told in front of swami also. so oh. swami asked me in tribunal to narrate this incident oh wow so swami came in my dream mm. and he was uh, agitated little agitated type uh, angry he took me by my hand took me to a blackboard mm. and started writing equations writing equations he writing equations mm. you know all uh, uh, double integrals and very serious and then he is telling us telling me this is how the uh, light absorption will look like this is how this how uh, tra- transpirational water loss will be modeled this is how you have to start these are the assumptions you have to make this is how you have to move the whole steps and what should be the final result uh, wow and like that he is telling me very clearly very very clearly very vivid very vivid dream and uh, after that i got up with a shock mm-hmm. and i wrote down everything wow. i immediately went back uh, took a paper pen and then uh, uh, wrote it down uh, and then uh, next day i went and then i started uh, 
working on it you know try to understand more depth because not all steps are given it's mm. you know so i started working on it it took me 3 months to understand what swami has told and so what you had just noted after noted that down for you to decipher that it took you it took 3 months for me and of mm. course i had told my professor also my professor was also very happy mm. seeing what he said just go deeper into it mm. and we uh, did a good amount of work around it and that became the Uh, the center the the kernel of my phd and the rest of it followed wow and that became even international publications and you know dream come true <laughs> so I, I, actually i didn't do any phd so if you ask me did i do a phd no it's uh, the lord who has actually uh, you know wow uh, taken us through that and then uh, we finished completed the phd and then uh, when i took the phd uh, book to swami mm. tai bunan swami was there so after we printed the book mm. first copy to swami mm. swami very graciously took it mm. signed it and then uh, he banged that is a mm. fat copy those days there was you know we had to type the things and then write down wow. there were not many you know no systems like this the, the word was not microsoft word these kind of things were not available you had to type everything uh, type everything and then write the equations by hand and, and all that uh, and sometimes you had to type the equations too so mm. the, the mathematical typewriter mm. and all that so and uh, after that swami took the book and banged it on my head like mm. this and said తల భారం తగ్గిపోయిందిరా ఇంకా సో మీనింగ్ యువర్ 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 వెయిట్ ఆన్ ది హెడ్ ఇస్ గాన్ ఇన్ యువర్ సో ది ది టెన్షన్ దట్ యు నో విల్ ఐ ఎవర్ బి ఏబుల్ టు కంప్లీట్ మై పిహెచ్డి సో ఆ మీ రిలీవ్ మీ ఆఫ్ దట్ ఆఫ్టర్ హి గేవ్ యు ద డ్రీమ్ నెక్స్ట్ డే డిడ్ భగవన్ ఇంటరాక్ట్ విత్ యు ఇన్ నో 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 దేర్ వాస్ నథింగ్ 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 ఐ వాస్ హోపింగ్ దట్ యు నో సామి విల్ సే సంథింగ్ అండ్ నథింగ్ నథింగ్ హి డింట్ సే ఎనీథింగ్ ఇట్ వాస్ జస్ట్ నార్మల్ డేస్ but he was invisibly yeah <laughs> that he wanted to take care, take charge wow. and uh, the proof that you know he has uh, come and uh, done, did all that is after my phd so the submission was over after he put that the talabaram tagindra he told me you speak now cheppu uh, how it happened how it cheppu ni instant cheppu wow so that's how you know that god reinforced that you know sami only took charge of this wow amazing i mean if if you, you know in mba we used we used to say that mba is mind on baba always <laughs> now if if you have your mind on swami always then swami in his own ways takes care of you i mean if he told you to do maths even if you are not good in maths it does not matter you just plunge into it because he will take it in fact even even in, in your msc your dissertation also was something which yeah, yeah, was guided by swami right dissertation was uh, another uh, you know um, a miracle in that sense we we, have, we were supposed to do the last semester a dissertation in a msc mathematics and uh, my professor had given me a topic on uh, stratified fluids mm. and i had taken up one uh, standard paper and then uh, centered my work around it and did some work mm. and uh, wrote down whatever the whole dissertation and handed over to our my guide mm. unfortunately because he had other work and you know there was other papers around somehow it got misplaced oh. so it got misplaced somewhere and then you know uh, there was a, we couldn't find the paper the papers and including the original paper went off mm. so i this was around uh, february ending you know mm. we were supposed to type and give it uh, give everything by march 15th maximum mm. because our exams are going to start and the other papers we had to read so i was in the hostel at that time and um, it was around the afternoon time so i was in parthi only so, so i it was around 2 to 30 or something so finally we realized that you know we'll have to redo the whole thing oh. and i was uh, totally um, shaken mm-hmm. that you know i cannot do this mm-hmm. so i think those days very difficult to get information information because we didn't have any internet nothing yes. of that sort and then whatever few research papers we could get with that we had to base and then start working on it so and the equations also had written down and given i had not had kept any rough or rough copies also with me i had mm-hmm. given everything mm-hmm. and somehow we, that was lost mm-hmm. and uh, the whole work was based on one paper of omersley Mm-hmm. so he is a he is also a leading uh, mathematician in stratified fluids he has written hundreds of papers mm-hmm. and one paper on which i i, I base my work mm-hmm. and uh, when i went back to man uh, to hostel it was around 230 i was mm-hmm. quite lightly disturbed mm-hmm. naturally i mean so many months of work work and then the exams are nearing and then you just have 15 days how can you do all this again and yeah. this was what was bothering me mm-hmm. so 
I have a photograph of Swami with Abhayam, uh, with Swami had signed a black and white photograph. Mm. And that was in my cupboard. And I told Swami, Swami, I have done my duty. I am not going to do anything further. And in case <laughs> we will have to repeat the course or you know, we will have to do it again once more because this dissertation. Mm. I am not interested to do all this. Anyway, I am not really very downcast. Very right? down. I am not I mean, anyway. after so many weeks and months of effort, and everything any, is gone. And, any, and anyway, I am not interested in any degree. So I was, I was very happy. Okay. Is <laughs> tells you will not get the degree. No okay, problem. that's okay, fine. And, but I am not going to do anything more. So that's what I thought. I told this to uh, Swami. I said I am not going to do anything. And peacefully uh, laid down my. Uh, we used to have that mattresses. I mm. put my covered myself. Laid Didn't down. go for darshan. Didn't go for darshan. I was not very in the mood to go for darshan. So mm. I like down hmm. around uh, four o'clock somebody uh, came and then told me you got a courier hmm. I said me a courier I impossible <laughs> because uh, my pay, uh, my father was here and hmm. I had no business to get a courier hmm. and nobody will send me a courier at all <laughs> so I asked from where so I went to the postman and he gave me a courier uh, uh, register post those days we register post Correct. okay and it came and it's from Canada I said, from Canada, me, is, is it sure? <laughs> no, my name was very clear. So, mm. he, he gave it to me and I opened it. Mm. It was from University of Toronto. I don't know from who sent it to me. Mm -hmm. Library, uh, the seal was there, mm. University of Toronto. And only that paper of Umar Slaizer, nothing else is there. The paper on which you had based it. Based my work. That's it. Dissertation. Nothing else was there. There wow. were not even <laughs> any letter. There were no covering letter. There was nothing. That's all. That, that was there in the, in the register post. I took it, I was so thrilled <laughs> and I said, Swami, now you have, you have given me, I have to do my work now. Do. Swami said, I am now helping you. Uh, he has given, so I will do. Then I immediately changed my dress, ran to Mandir mm. and sat and by the time Swami, those days Swami used to come around 4, 4.30, mm. Swami finished his darshan mm. and uh, boys were, uh, you know, sitting still. So I went and sat somewhere at the back. Mm. Those days were sand days. Mm. So, Swami came after the interview, Swami used to still walk around once. Uh -huh. That day, he, he took a, a detour to the devotees, came very close to me, he was passing by me uh -huh. and he said, he looked like this, Chikinda. Oh, so did, <laughs> did you get, get it? it? Did you get it? So, <laughs> wow. So, that was, uh, you know, how <laughs> Swami helps you, you know, to, wow. uh, to solve any problem. You know, every small step he is there, you know. Yeah, amazing. So, definitely the gold medal was just a golden blessing. Yeah, that's a blessing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I do not know whether I should mention, we were only two boys. Okay. So, by default, I got a gold medal. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, only two boys in the mathematics class. Oh, wow. In messy maths. I mean, he just made he your gives every you, so, moment so memorable. Yeah, 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 so memorable. There's no doubt about it. We are mm. not the doer. So, in every place, he's literally telling you, I am, I am the doer, you are not the doer. Mm. He That was what was driving all through. Mm. So, uh, I want to tell you uh, two more instances which, see, till he, now we were, I was all the time thinking that like, you know, like a disciple, you know, mm. uh, like a master and a disciple, we should be always, you know, be ready to serve the master, follow his message and, you know, be an instrument in his hands. Mm. Around uh, uh, eight, 1985, the Swami's 60th birthday, mm. I was my first year of uh, PhD. And Swami selected me as Satyabhama for uh, Radha Krishna drama, hmm. which uh, Swami himself directed. Yes. That was a beautiful moment we had, lot of uh, uh, close interactions with Swami. Uh, some of our uh, boys were, uh, you know, in different roles. Hmm. Uh, Shiva Shankar Sai sir was hmm. the Krishna, Krishna. Uh, S. Kumar was Radha, yes. Ratnakar sir was Narada, oh, I was uh, uh, Satyabhama mm -hmm. and a lot of other boys, everybody was there. And it's a very nice and written mm -hmm. by Swami. Songs were also composed by Swami. Swami took personal interest. Mm. And even for the direction part, Swami, after we did our bit of training and all that, Swami used to come tell us how Swami brought in Anjali Devi and uh, uh, Jamuna. Oh, Jamuna. Jamuna, because Jamuna had acted as Satyabhama in all the film roles, Telugu films. Mm. She is known to act as Satyabhama. Swami, Jamuna guided us, mm. uh, Anjali Devi guided us how mm. to act as Satyabhama and all mm. that. So, those are very great moments. Mm. But that started making me think, what? why did Swami give me a role of Satyabhama of all the things? Mm. Swami could have given me any role or not a role at all. Mm. Why did Swami give me a role of Satyabhama in the first instance? And what is Satyabhama all about? Mm. So, when you start, look at the drama's internals also and read more about 
यदि भागवतम हु वॉज सत्यभामा सत्यभामा ऑलवेज हैड पोजेस वॉन्टेड टू पोजेस कृष्णा बीट कृष्णा तुला भारम बीट इन दिस ड्रामा शी वॉन्टेड कृष्णा टू बी विथ हर एंड नॉट गो टू इज माइन माई कृष्णा इज माइन कृष्णा यू नो दैट काइंड ऑफ अ फीलिंग शी हैड एंड शी and she always felt krishna is a body and that's where she this whole krishna tulabaram also yeah. she wanted to weigh krishna physically yeah she said she can win over krishna win over krishna with all her wealth wealth, wealth. Mm-hmm. because physically she was seeing some mm-hmm. lord so that she never won right mm-hmm. and radha who saw krishna everywhere mm-hmm. uh, rukmini who saw the lord as the lord you know yes. they could get the lord yeah. so this started you know make me think you know that you know we have to now move from just seeing swami as you know physical swami running around swami mm. we need to move from that and to become you know how that how can we internalize swami how can mm. we see swami in everything that we do mm. how can we see swami in uh, uh, what we uh, daily think to walk talk how are we able to not physical swami we have to all this days also we used to think about swami that in whatever we do but all the time we used to think about ha huh, this will make us making the line number 1.1 mm. this will if swami comes we can give a kerchief here mm. you know this kind of stuff was going on but can we now move from that part to offering all our activities to swami mm. every thought word and deed in a way that you know we are able to see swami and gain swami internally mm. and therefore we external swami will automatically come and see material mm. that was what made me uh, this drama actually you know made me think and a lot of deep thought went into it i restructured myself in the way we have to be with swami mm-hmm. the way i we need to you know relate to swami mm. so that was the second part so this part is the part wherein you are trying to see yourself as a image of swami mm-hmm. you want to be an image of swami in a sense yes that's what radha always felt you know mm-hmm. so that even the some of the songs are like that okay. so that that was the uh, uh, point of 1985 then suddenly in 1987 uh, there was a shankaracharya drama which uh, some of the phd students were asked to enact also i was also doing my phd and uh, very strangely i was selected for ashtavakra in shankaracharya's life there's no ashtavakra but that scene was included into Ash- into shankaracharya drama for the first time mm-hmm. a, a scene where ashtavakra walks into a a galaxy of pandits and these pandits start laughing at him because ashtavakra's body is you know by the curse of his father is uh, in bent into eight uh, bends are there yeah, I mean, he doesn't ashtavakra is eight and eight vakra, vakra is bent so when he walks his body um, uh, bends in eight ways eight ways yeah. so and he was a great gnani from birth mm. that's how he got the curse too mm. he was a great gnani he was a atma drashta he was a self realized soul mm. and uh, if you look at ashta ashtavakra samhita ashta that is also called ashtavakra gita mm-hmm. wherein it stresses that you know you are not the body you are not the mind you are not the intellect you are not anything mm-hmm. you are the pura puna parabrahmam and the way it goes about talking that there is an ocean and how can the waves ever think that waves are separate mm-hmm. waves are existing as long as the ocean exists and it's a part and parcel of the ocean itself and this whole maya that is existing is just the waves but the substratum of every drop of that wave is is a part and parcel of the ocean itself and you cannot separate this at all and there is no other entity other than the uh, the lord himself there is no other entity other than the purna parabrahma himself that is what is ashtavakra gita all about and it's it and it is a very powerful samhita if uh, you get time that's you should read it because it's it's a very very powerful one it tells it's a conversation some some of the questions asked by janaka are answered there mm-hmm. ashtavakra moves from ramayana time to uh, the dwarka mahabharata time uh, incidentally if you read ashtavakra radha in her younger days her father sends her to do service in ashtavakra ashram oh and uh, when she is doing service she is all the time smiling mm. 
many people who come to ashtavakra ashram and they smile when they last look at uh, uh, the uh, the master and smile differently there's a curse that comes to them uh-huh. but for radha he literally blesses her uh-huh. he says you are smiling because you are seeing krishna in me in everywhere in all the things wow. and therefore you be ever young oh so that is blesses, blesses radha that you can never become old wow so that is what is ashtavakra's uh, you know role and the dialogue given to me was uh, very very powerful and when they are all laughing ashtavakra also laughs and then and laugh very loudly and uh, suddenly this all these pundits calm down and then say why are you laughing we are laughing because you are bent and therefore your body is so your body is bent the way you coming in makes us laugh mm. he says i thought i came to a gathering of pundits pundits are the people who are samadarshina who have equanimity of drishti samadarshina equal vision equal vision of everything and but here i see cobblers i am not seeing pundits mm-hmm. only cobblers see flesh and bone you are seeing only my skin skin and my form you are cobblers you are not pundits you are not uh, realized souls you are not gyanis at all that is a very powerful dialogue mm-hmm. that made me think you know what if we are relating ourselves to swami in a physical form swami looks us as cobblers to all of us we look like cobblers to swami if you are not going beyond beyond if you look at swami as only a physical body for swami we might appear like a cobbler just think of it mm-hmm. that shook me like uh, anything you know that you know we need to look much beyond what is sai what is sai tatvam can we say sai tatvam was five and a half feet having a beautiful enchanting form yes that is true but is sai only that is sai much more than that what is really sai where is sai where can i find sai how do we find sai this is what you know took me a lot deep inside and uh, that journey has been really you know a journey where you have to annihilate your ego that is sometimes it might appear to be very simple thing to very simple to do that kind of a stuff it is not that simple annihilation of one's ahankaram mm-hmm. annihilation of one's self itself mm-hmm. is a biggest courageous act that you can ever think of greatest adventure greatest adventure biggest courageous act that you can mm-hmm. think of and that journey is what is on and to see swami as the purna parabrahmam to see swami in whatever we are doing so see swami as our self itself in everything in every atom every right from anu to parabrahma is a upasana which we should do and in ashtavakra samhita some of the upasanas are mentioned and this is how swami has led me from you know from being a shankaracharya disciple as a young boy mm. to moving to to a stage where you were you know uh, a consort to the lord mm. but all at the time possessing lord mm. you are you are his reflection mm. but still not knowing what the original form is mm. you not knowing the sun the shadow does not know what the sun is mm. shadow of sun does not know the glory of the sun if the shadow does not know the glory of the sun itself there is no use of a shadow at all that was what is satyabhama's role mm. and finally ashtavakara's role makes us realize that you should become the sun itself mm. you there is no way there is no difference at all but you there is a this kind of a this maya this this vesture that you put on is what is really giving us this uh, difference and this reminds me of what uh, you know uh, lord hanuman had said you know when some when asked uh, asked about him who are you he said i am a in the physical form yes. if you look at my physical form i am the uh, servant yes. of the lord when i am in my at my jeevatma i am actually his image mm. when i am my my pure atma i am i and here one mm. i am the lord himself mm. and this journey of adi shankar acharya to uh, satyabhama to ashtavakra is that journey which i felt mm. i felt swami was teaching me this lesson yes. that you are not just the uh, body alone you are while in the body sense you should be like my servant in the atma sense you should be like my reflection you should not 
have any aberrations in the reflection but still by be my reflection and in the true sense you should become me and that journey is what is the most uh, enriching journey i have had and i am not saying that we have uh, i have not completed a journey i am still there a long way to go to reach his feet in amazing um, when you think about it that is how the supreme master teaches you know swami does not directly give you the lessons swami gives you the opportunity to do that drama and i think every moment that swami gave us he was constantly teaching us he is constantly training us and that, and that is how you know when you reflect now you know okay why did he speak to me or why did he give me that chance why did he give me that opportunity to do that role or why did he give me that opportunity to go to him and uh, do this particular seva i think everything was towards giving us that real education as swami says na sa vidyaya vimuktaye i mean it, that education was what was happening as you said i mean the, these phds and dissertations are nothing swami mm-hmm. can give it to us just like just that. like that but the, these the other education other education is what is and this important. is what is true love i feel yes the love of swami is you know thousand mothers they say more than thousand mothers what is the real love if you really deeply think if you you are love itself there's no difference between you and love and swami is the form of love swami said love is my form mm. and deeply inside the purna parabrahma tattvam itself is love so i always uh, you know when we read that sentence bhishas madvat pavate bhisho deti surya bhishas madagnis chendrascha mrutyur dhavati panchama iti it's it's said in the vedas that you know the sun rises sun moon all of them rise to fear of whom mm. the the winds flow to the fear of whom the death god functions to the fear of whom actually this is not a fear it's a love it's a lack of love mm. this i understood sitting in the darshan mm-hmm. why all of us were so disciplined wanted to follow swami wanted to do everything to please swami everybody anybody mm-hmm. who has come mm-hmm. to swami's fold will experience that because one what if swami doesn't look at me swami mm-hmm. doesn't come close mm-hmm. to me swami doesn't come near me swami doesn't take my letter mm-hmm. that fear of lack of love the fear of losing his love now that is bishasma mm. it is not that he has a ugrakaram no mm. that is a wrong interpretation so everybody beat the sun the moon everybody is functions, functions because, because they, they don't want to lose that his love love his mm. love yeah. that is what is because you you can't withstand you can withstand anything but not being deprived of his love his love lack mm. of his love gives you all the troubles of the world mm. the the greatest curse that you can have for anybody is swami just removes his love from you finished mm-hmm. and that's what is to happen all the boys we all swami doesn't talk to us mm-hmm. we used to pine for him and yes. then you know there are the lord of the lords came down to such an extent that we could go and get out him mm-hmm. go and uh, plead with him <laughs> all the boys swami 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 we used to ask mm-hmm. ask him and swami i'm not angry with you i'm not angry i'm only not happy that you're not following my word See, that used to be Swami's uh, mm-hmm. import all the time. Mm-hmm. What is really the uh, the love of Swami is that He wants to take us to become Himself itself. Mm-hmm. He and that is the greatest of the love He has, and that's the sac- greatest sacrifice. Mm-hmm. If at all we, anybody has made sacrifice, the Lord who has made sacrifice. Mm-hmm. We read in uh, Brahmananda Valley that from Manushya Anandam. to go to brahmanandam mm-hmm. there are 11 stages in right. each is the to the power of power of so mm-hmm. if Vidyananda, you manushyananda uh, manushyananda, uh, manushyananda, uh, manushyananda uh, devagandhar uh, manushya gandharvananda dev like that stages so are there so many levels of levels ananda. level 11 level, levels are there yes mentioned there yes. and each is not one of the it's not multiple it's, it is like exponential correct and therefore it is like from manushyananda it is countlessly infinite amount of brahmananda and a per- lord says please is my food a pers a lord who is in that state comes down to manushya level mm. which is a very 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 low level of anandam mm. and then talks to us mm. b- gives us happiness with our happiness the the mm. the quote unquote the happiness that what we think we is think happiness. happiness be it you know swami please come for lunch with us mm. swami will come for lunch swami doesn't need required lunch mm. swami please talk to us Swami doesn't need to talk to us, but He will talk to us. That is the level He has come down just 
that is the sacrifice swami has done so that is avataram avataram is bending down to lift the child to for what sake so that the child can become the lord itself my hey, swami used to say how is like a phd a uh, person coming and teaching alphabets and you have to keep doing that <laughs> imagine and so much of patience so much of love he has got for all of us to make us do this and i feel you know that is the reason why uh, you know it's whatever you want to repay to swami we cannot repay because that much of love that much of coming down to our level mm-hmm. is something which uh, is no other avatar has done nobody else has done this till then there is nobody else nobody has actually else. done sacrifice if, any, yes. if anybody has done we sacrifice we all have got benefits only <laughs> it's only the lord has done sacrifice we have yeah. not done anything mm. that is the kind of love he has got and if and also the selflessness of his um, uh, love for us is mm. he wants us to become himself itself i always used to think even if i am in a job the maximum i can go up to is you know the next to the owner right mm. even if i'm let's say i'm working in some government job i can go up to certain extent mm. but here is a lord he is telling me you come up mm. and become me itself <laughs> see any anywhere else in that position will come you be become me itself that is the greatest joy is lifting you so that you can become yes that. and therefore there should be no fear at all mm. there should be no fear at all lot of people might feel that what happens to the drop of water if it goes into the ocean <laughs> the joy is it to become ocean itself yes Yeah. but to lose the identity yes. of that drop is what might scare people scare people yeah. but giving ourselves in that yeah infinity is yeah. the joy yeah so this is what is swami's yeah. great yeah. love you see uh, absolutely I and mean, i think but the thing is the most beautiful aspect of bhagwan is how he how he takes us through this journey yes you know uh, we didn't we don't even realize that uh, he is taking us through that journey sure sure 100% we don't realize that you know from the time i joined as a 15 year old boy yeah. to where i am right now what do i how do i think how do i mm-hmm. i know do my upasana how do we relate to swami mm-hmm. how has swami uh, the concept of swami itself changed to us mm-hmm. is only swami can uh, do this <laughs>